Hello, I'm Bethany from Bethany Wellness. Join me for this easy does it chair yoga class. Thank you for joining me today for this easy does it chair yoga class. We'll um, need to grab a chair, of course, so make sure you have a sturdy chair. Some other items would be a, a block and a strap. So you choose if you have a block or a book, um, a strap or a belt. And this chair is designed for people that are just looking for a, a gentle yoga class, um, people that might have some health issues that just need more of a gentle class, um, for seniors, of course, um, people that just might feel a little unsteady or unstable in their feet. So um, let's begin. When you're ready, settle into your chair. Begin to sit softly in your chair. So we don't need to sit upright in the chair. We don't need to sit super tall. Just sit relaxed. If your feet do not make nice contact with the ground, you'll want to grab your block or your book and place it under your feet so that your feet are nice and connected. And I would encourage you for this class to just leave your shoes on. You know, a lot of yoga classes were barefoot, but for some people it's better to have shoes on for more stability. Um, if you prefer shoes off, feel free to take your shoes off. Begin to connect to your breath, gazing down to your lap, to the ground, or eyes are closed. Settling into your chair. Settling into your breath. Allowing your breath to draw you into this present moment. Letting go on your exhales. Let go of anything that interferes with being present here. Let go of busy thoughts. Let go of any to-dos, the to-do list. You can revisit to those things later. And as you're settling in, it's common to have very busy mind. Just the mind sometimes will wander, jumping from thought to thought. Give yourself patience and grace as you allow your breath to draw you into stillness and allow your exhales to let go of those busy thoughts. Yoga means union of mind, body, and spirit. So imagine here in this present moment connecting your mind, your body, your spirit, Also imagine here connecting to a higher power. For me, that's God. Whatever it is for you, connect to something meaningful in your life. Giving thanks for your day. Giving thanks for anything in your life that you're grateful for. Next, let's practice box breathing. Inhale through your nose for the count of four. Hold your breath for the count of four. Exhale out your mouth for the count of four. And then hold your breath for the count of four. So go at your own pace with your own box breathing using the four count. Inhaling through your nose for four. Holding for four. Exhale out your mouth for four and then hold for four. Keep going with your box breathing, allowing your breath to draw you in to relaxation, helping to let go of any stress or worry or anxiety. Your breath is very powerful when you came into this earth, you breathed your first breath. And when we all leave this earth, we'll breathe our last breath. So just connect here to your breath, drawing you into the present moment. 
and then come back to your normal breathing pattern, a slow, calm, steady breathing pattern. Take a moment to tune into your body, how your body feels in the chair, feeling the support behind you, beneath you, letting your muscles in your face relax, letting your shoulders release away from your ears. Let your arms be heavy, whether they're resting down by your sides or in your lap. Let your legs be soft, feeling the support of the chair underneath you, noticing your feet as they make contact with the ground. Taking a couple more full breaths. And you can slowly open your eyes if you had your eyes closed. Bring your arms down by your sides if they weren't there already and give them a little shimmy, a little shake. Then inhale, reach the arms high, gazing up to fingers as you reach all the way up. Lift away from the seat, just feeling the length through your spine. Exhale, release your arms down. Stay lifted tall here. Again, inhale, rotate the palms out, then rise arms up, gaze up. Exhale, release the arms down. One more time. Inhale, rise arms up. Exhale, release arms down. Good. Leaving those arms down by your sides, give them a little shake. Shake out some of that energy or tension. And from here, lift the left foot up just a little bit off of the ground. You're rooting down through the right foot, connecting the core here. So we're strengthening the core by lifting that foot up. And it just takes a few inches. You don't have to lift it all the way up. Just a little bit will do it. And keeping your core connected here, I want you to do a shushing real quick, just to be sure that you're keeping the abs connected. And release down, switch sides, lift the right foot up, holding here. We're still breathing even though we're challenging the core. And if you need to take a rest at any time, just place your big toe back down or your, big, your foot back down. And release, let's do one more on each side. Lift the left foot up. This time bring the arms out. We're keeping our spine lengthened here, keeping the core connected. Release down, other side. Lift your right foot up, hold here. You decide how high you'd like to lift it. The higher you lift it up, a little more challenging. Good, then release it down, release the arms down. Come towards the middle of your chair. Shimmy a little bit side to side. So as you shimmy, you'll notice you have bony sits bones underneath your seat, underneath your hips, underneath your glutes, a right and left sits bone. Settle into the center of the sits bones. Bring your hands to your knees. And widen your feet a little bit here. Make sure you feel stable first. So we're not too far forward on the chair, we're about in the middle of the chair. Inhale, rock to the front of your sits bones, taking your gaze up for seated cow pose. Exhale, rock to the back of your sits bones, tuck and round, rocking or bringing your chin to your chest. Now go at your own pace with your breath. Inhale as you lengthen and expand into cow. Exhale as you tuck and round into cat. And just link your breath with your movement. Allow your breath to guide you through your movement. Let's do two more. Just feeling if there's any tension there, noticing if you're able to open some space. Last one. Good, then come back into the center of your seat. Bring your arms down by your sides. We're still staying right in the center of the seat so we're not sitting back into the chair. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, take a twist to the left to bring your opposite arm to the opposite leg. And then your hand back behind you can either stay lifted or you can bring it to the chair. Take a gentle twist here. Gazing over the back arm or the back shoulder. Inhale, back to center, both arms high. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Bring your left arm to your right thigh and gently twist here. Good. 
Inhale, come back to center, rise both arms high. Exhale, baby back bend. Goal post your arms, take your gaze up. Draw your shoulder blades together. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, release your arms down. Good. Now bring your left leg out in front. So we're stretching out the left leg. Left toes are up. Bring the arms high as you inhale. Then exhale, bring hands to your hips and forward fold. Begin to hinge forward from the torso, hinging over your left leg. From here, you can choose to bring your hands down. You don't have to have them on your hips if you don't like, if you don't want. And then just reach a little farther, maybe walking the hands down your shin. Keeping the neck relaxed, gaze down. Steady breath. Breath helps open space, especially areas that are tight. And slowly walk your hands back up your shin if you had them there, bring them to your hips, and then switch sides. Stretching out the right leg this time. Inhale, rise both arms high. Exhale, release hands to hips and forward fold. Begin to hinge your torso over your legs. And from here you can choose if you'd like to walk your hands down your right leg, going a little bit deeper, only if that feels comfortable. This is a nice opportunity to tune into your body and notice how it feels and meet yourself where you're at without judgment. Just say, this is where I'm at today and this is where I'll be. And then inhale, rise back up, bring that leg in. Good. Now widen your feet about hip distance, maybe two or three fists. Then rotate the toes out and let the knees draw out to the sides. So we're using a lot of strength here in the hips, in the abductor muscles to draw the knees out. So holding here for a couple breaths. And slowly begin to rotate the toes in, drawing the knees in. And those heels will come out a little bit here. And I want you to squeeze on your inner thighs. You're squeezing the legs together. This is a nice strengthening exercise for your pelvic floor, which sometimes if we have issues with our pelvic floor, the strengthening is a wonderful way to counteract some of those issues. And come back to center into neutral. Good, let's do that again. Rotate the toes out, knees draw out. So your pelvic floor consists of a lot of tendons and muscles that support the bladder. Um, if you're a female, it supports the uterus. And it's a very important system to have a strong pelvic floor. Um, if it's too tight, it doesn't function well. If it's not very strong, it doesn't function well. So this helps with that. Rotate the toes in, draw the knees in. And come back to neutral. Let's do that one more time. Rotate the toes out, drawing the knees out. Trying to really keep the strength from the hips. So we're keeping the knees out because our hips are engaged, the muscles around the hips and the thighs. So if you're gonna do this um, exercise to continue developing more strength in your pelvic core, make sure you're holding each of these poses for 10 seconds and that you're doing them maybe about 10 times. So we're doing about three here today. Rotate the toes in. And you can work your way up maybe five to 10 um, in your day, and then you can do even more sets if you're feeling like it's helping or you're getting stronger. And back to neutral. And then let's just pump the heels up and down. Fun fact here. If you're on a road trip and you're stuck in a car and you really have to urinate, you have to go to the bathroom and you just, you can't get to the bathroom, just try pumping your heels. It, it sort of distracts the bladder. So fun tip there, try it out. Pump the heels until you can get to the bathroom. Good, and then let's do heel taps here. I like to call these Dorothy taps. If you've seen Wizard of Oz, you know what I'm talking about. Just tap the heels together. Good. And then just kind of shimmy and shake the, the ankles out here on your left foot and switch sides. Good. 
Now, if you're able, I'll have you cross your left ankle over your right thigh. If this is not accessible to you, you'll take a variation here, crossing at the ankles. So choose what works for you. This is called figure four pose. Nice stretch through the hips and the glutes, especially on the left side right now. And here's an option. If you have your ankle up on the thigh, you can choose to just gently apply some pressure with your hand or your forearm onto that bent leg, just pressing the knee down gently. You can also choose to fold forward just a little bit, hinging at the hips. So picking once again what works in your body today and embracing and meeting yourself where you're at. Steady breath. So if you're noticing there's some tight spots in there, make sure that your breath is regular, a nice pattern, slow and steady. We have a tendency to hold our breath when we, when we notice something's tight or we notice a little bit of pain or discomfort. So resist that habit and be with your breath. Good, slowly come up, switching sides, figure four on the other side. So choosing here which variation, crossing at the ankles if you would like, you can bring that right ankle over to the left or you can bring the right ankle up to the left thigh. Choosing here if you'd like to press the knee away from you or down, press it down. And if you'd like to hinge forward a little bit, folding forward. Just notice here if one side feels tighter than the other, it's very common to have that, to have a little bit of those imbalances in our bodies where one side holds maybe a little more tension than the other side. It's all about tuning in and noticing, right? So that maybe we can do something about it. Maybe it's the way we're holding our posture or the way we're moving throughout our day. Or maybe one side's just stronger than the other. And slowly rise up. Good. And from here, let's bring those knees out one last time, opening the hips. So after that figure four pose, sometimes there's a little bit of compression on the hips. So we want to just open them up, make sure they're happy. Good. Then bring it back in. Inhale, rise your arms high, gazing up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Bring your left arm behind you, right arm in front, creating a T with your arms. If this is uncomfortable, you can bring that angle in a little bit so you're not quite at a T. Inhale, back to center, both arms high. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Finding openness in your shoulders, in the chest. Inhale, back to center, both arms high. Side bend to the left, bring the left arm down, gently stretch your left side. Good, inhale back to center, side bend to the right. Inhale back to center, and exhale, release your arms down. Good. Coming into our balancing pose for the day, you can choose to take this from a chair or standing up next to the chair. So let's try our tree pose today. Having your chair there for support. Using your left foot and place your left foot on your right leg for tree pose. Maybe you stay right here keeping your hand on your chair. You can also go behind the chair if that's more comfortable. And you can choose here to have the big toe touching the ground for support or you can bring the foot up a little bit so that you're challenging yourself just a little more. Steady breath for your tree. Keeping your chair held every now and then if you'd like, you can lift your hand up just to see how your balance is today. See if you want to challenge your balance. It's through challenging our balance that we improve our balance. So I would encourage you to every so often lift the hand up off of the chair. Couple more breaths. Good, then slowly release, shake that out. 
And then I always like to bear swing a little bit here in between the balancing. So just pivoting a little bit from the torso, your feet are planted. If you're choosing to do this in the chair, you can do a little bear swings in the chair too. And for the other side for tree pose, this time your right leg comes up, big toe can touch for support, or you can bring it up a little bit more. Hanging onto that chair for balance, every now and then lifting the hand up to check and see if you can challenge yourself. Find something steady to gaze at, a spot on the floor is helpful, or maybe a spot on the wall, a non-moving object. How's your breath? Be sure you're still breathing. Nice full breath. And slowly release down. Give your legs a little shake this time. And bear swing if you'd like, or you can just kind of shake out your arms a little bit here. Nice breath in and out. Good. And coming back into your seat. Grabbing that strap or that belt, whatever you have, or scarf, and bring the strap over your head. Your, arm, your arms are going to be widened out a little bit, so you're kind of creating a V with your grip of your strap. We're going to just hold here. So you can choose here if you want to widen the grip of your hands a little bit. Now if that's too intense, you may wish to just hold it a little bit more to front, or maybe back behind you. Just play around with where you can hold this pose. And then from here, slowly bring it down to your lap. Inhale, rise it back up. Slowly bring it down. So going at your own pace, just bringing the strap down and up. And here you can choose if you'd like to go back behind you, only if that's accessible in your shoulders. So once again, meeting yourself where you're at, honoring your body without judgment. This is where you're at today. It's fine. Give yourself grace. Good. And let's do one more lowering down, rising up. Good. Now sitting all the way back into your chair, bring the strap around your feet. So just kind of bending down a little bit. And then from here, straighten your legs out and hold the strap. So we're just letting the feet be lifted up and we're holding the strap, trying not to create tension in our wrists or our shoulders as we're holding the strap. So you decide what's best to hold it. Sometimes it's nice to wrap the strap around your hands, holding that way. Um, if you keep your elbows tucked down a little bit more by your sides, that might help you keep the shoulders away from your ears. We're only here for just a couple more breaths. So just Breathe. Good, then slowly release down. You can also do that single-legged. That feels kind of nice. You can try that next time. And then just sitting into your seat, make sure you're all the way back into your seat now. Let's bring the left ear to the left shoulder. From here, option to bring your left hand back behind your head and apply a little pressure as you tuck chin to chest. Good, and bring your head back to center. Switching sides, right ear to right shoulder. And you can stay right here. You can bring your right hand to the back of your head, tucking chin to chest, apply a little extra stretch here. Good, then release down. Give your arms a little shake. And settling in for final surrender. So you can choose here if you'd like hands resting on your lap or down by your sides. Taking your gaze down to the ground in your lap or closing your eyes. Let's take some four, seven, eight breaths. Exhale all your air out your mouth first. 
and inhale through your nose for the count of four. Hold your breath for the count of seven. Exhale out your mouth for the count of eight. As you exhale, imagine blowing out candles. Let's do that two more times. Inhale through your nose for the count of four. Hold your breath for the count of seven. Exhale out your mouth for the count of eight. Try to keep your tongue resting on the roof of your mouth, right behind the two front teeth. Last time, inhale through your nose for four. Hold for seven. Exhale out your mouth for eight. And settling into your breathing pattern that is slow and calm and steady like a pattern of an ocean wave. Allow your breath to draw you into stillness, into relaxation. Connecting your mind, your body, your spirit. Connecting to your higher power or something that's meaningful to you in your life. I choose to connect to God and give thanks to God for this day. Imagine on your next breath a wave of relaxation settling into your body from head to toe, relaxing all the muscles in your face. Your forehead opens, your eyebrows and eyelids are soft. Your nostrils release and your mouth and jaw neutral. Shoulders release away from your ears as both arms filled heavy with relaxation. Moving to your hands, the tips of your fingers. Torso sinking down a little more into that chair. Feeling the support of the chair underneath your legs. As relaxation moves down to your ankles, to your feet the tips of your toes, your mind, your body, your spirit, completely relaxed and at peace, trusting that everything is as it should be at this very moment. Final surrender, Shavasana. Take a nice deep breath, drawing your attention back to this place. Let your arms rest down by your sides and give your fingers a little wiggle. Give your toes a little wiggle. And you can gently open your eyes. Thank you so much. It was my honor to guide you through this Easy Does It yoga class today. The tradition in yoga is to end with the phrase namaste, which means the teacher in me honors the teacher in you. Namaste and be well.